Hey, everybody. It's me, Nancy Norbeck, host of Follow Your Curiosity. And I am starting a series of off week, since I usually release an episode with an interview every other week, little mini bite-sized episodes about the creative process, creative myths, whatever's kind of on my mind that I'm hearing people talk about, noticing whatever questions you guys want to send me. Um, you can feel free to send me a note at nancy at fycuriosity.com or just go on my website if that's easier. Um, just kind of, you know, little thoughts from me, probably about five minutes an episode, roughly speaking, and just, just to help keep you going. Because that's the whole point of Follow Your Curiosity is to get you unstuck with the things you want to do in your creative life. And so what I wanted to talk about this first time is just what is creative and who is creative. If you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you know that I have a pretty broad definition of creative. Pretty much my test for if you're creative is one simple question. Do you have a pulse? If the answer is yes, which I'm going to go ahead and bet it is if you're listening to this, then you are creative. If you don't think you are creative, it's because somebody convinced you that you weren't. Something happened from the time you were a little kid when you ran around chasing after whatever interested you, whether it was trains like my little nephews or Barbie dolls or collecting butterflies, whatever it was. And, you know, bigger things too, like playing an instrument or learning to dance or stuff like that. Whatever that was, somebody either told you that you weren't any good at it, that it wasn't something that people actually did if they were serious, because serious things are things like accounting and management and being a, a software engineer, or they just, you know, kind of made you feel like, eh, it's not really that important, or you're not that good at it, or any number of other things. And stuff like this can come to you from out of nowhere in tiny, tiny little moments. I mean, I can tell you that my image of myself as a singer was seriously damaged by one offhand comment from someone in a position of authority who in a moment, and I don't remember exactly what the question was about, you know, whether who could sing, whether I could sing, something like that, said, you can carry a tune. Was that untrue? No. But it wasn't, yeah, actually, you're pretty good at this singing thing. You should keep doing it. And, you know, when it's not what you're hoping to hear, or not what you think you deserve to hear, or any other thing that just doesn't land in the way that you expect. And especially if you're coming from a place where you haven't been encouraged or you just aren't so sure for whatever reason, a comment like that, as innocent and well-intentioned as I'm quite sure it was, can lead you to believe that you're not good at something and that you should stop trying because, you know, what do you have to contribute? Or you're just fooling yourself or anything like that. So if you don't believe that you're creative, and believe me, there are plenty of people that I have encountered who don't believe that they're creative. They, they will say to you instantly, oh, no, 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 I'm not creative. And you're just sitting there thinking, really, are you kidding me? <laughs> and of course you are. Of course you are. Anybody who has to solve any kind of problem, which is every single human being on this planet every day, is creative because that's how we solve problems. So if that's what you've heard, I am here to tell you that it's not true. And I realize that, you know, I haven't met you in all likelihood. I might not ever meet you, but I am just absolutely dead sure that this is true. You have something in you that is dying to come out, whether it is writing, dance, photography, painting, theater, directing, accounting, because trust me, it's a creative thing. And anytime now, I'm going to prove it to you um, <laughs> in an upcoming episode. I swear. Stay tuned. Um, everything. Engineering. It, you know, all of these things are deeply, deeply creative, not necessarily in ways that we think of, because this is the other thing about creativity. We've been told that creativity equals art. 
The fact is there's an art to everything. There's an art to cooking. There is an art to cleaning. And I know because I'm not good at it. <laughs> there, there is an art to diplomacy. If I ever manage to find myself someone who served as a diplomat, I will tell you all about it or I'll let them tell you all about it. There is an art to everything, even science, right? We think that science is all facts and figures and numbers and it, no, science is exploration. Science is following your curiosity in its one of its purest forms. So don't discount the idea that you're creative. Even if you think you're not, even if you've been told that you're not, which I promise you, I promise you, it's a lie. I know I keep saying it, but it's because it's true. Just follow, follow me on this little journey through creative pep talks that go along with the interviews that I do. Because if you've listened for a while, you know, we talk about how people find the things that they find, how they land, where they landed, who encouraged them, what surprised them. You know, did they know this was something they wanted to do? A lot of these people didn't. Some of them did, but it's not everybody. It's not necessarily like you have to have been born knowing that you are going to be the next Laurence Olivier. It's not like that at all. And as Richard Oliver said when I talked to him recently, he keeps wondering, is it talent? Is it this thing that you're born with? Or is it something you can learn? My guess is that it's somewhere in between just because in life, there's very little black and white, even though we try to make things black and white all the time. So in that spirit, even if you don't believe me that you're creative, I hope that you will bear with me. Give me a chance to prove it to you through this series of little bite-sized mini episodes that are just going to be designed to get you thinking about different parts of the process that you might not ever have entertained before. You might not even have thought about or realized or noticed. Get you noticing things too, <laughs> paying more attention and giving yourself more credit because you deserve it. And you deserve the joy and the wonder and the sense of accomplishment and confidence that comes with having an actual creative practice. Even if you are terrible when you start, and we will talk at some point about expectations and how to manage those. It's a little bit easier than you think. <laughs> even if you think you're not any good, even if you prove to yourself that you're not, not any good when you first start, just remember nobody, nobody arrived on this planet being an expert at what they do. Everybody starts somewhere. So come on this journey with me and we'll see where we land. And I hope that you figure out if you have any doubts that you're creative. And if you are stuck in any way, I hope that you'll start to get some ideas for how to get yourself moving. I'm serious about taking your questions. So if you want to ask me anything, nancy at fycuriosity.com is the easiest way to find me. And also, if at some point you realize that this is helpful, but you could use a little bit more, I do take private clients and I am open for private clients right now. So you can contact me at that same email address if you're curious and we'll set up a time to talk and see what we can do. So that's it for our first episode. It's a little bit longer than I expect the other ones to be, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll come along on this ride with me and see where you can end up. I really, really hope that you'll surprise yourself. Thanks.